Welcome everyone to Digital Composition Online. This is the first ever uh, time I've used OBS for this purpose and I'm, I'm very excited about it using my son's green screen today and we're going to use Soundtrap. Let's get started. So you should have already gotten the link and you're in Soundtrap. Here's the uh, splash page. At the beginning you're going to go to Studio and that will start your music project right away. And there's this nifty loading screen and you've already gone through two tutorials before this video and if you haven't already go ahead and do that now under intro and crash course you can keep going but today just get these two under your belt good all right i'm going to close that up and we're already at a new area so um this is whole we're the patterns beat maker and that's what we're going to start with so Looking at it, it's a grid. It's four beats. One, two, three, four, and it's in 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So once you click kick, it starts the machine. And to start it, just put four kicks on each of the beats. One, two, three, and four. And then the snare drum is next. So just put a snare on two and four. And then put one on every other hi-hat closed, skip one, and all of a sudden you're going to get that rock beat that I taught you before. But this has four on the floor, so if you take the kick out, there it is right there. There's our rock beat. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video here. Just make sure you make this one first as a practice warm-up. All right, welcome back here. Next thing, you're gonna choose your own instrument. So this, it starts with a machine called Vanilla and it's not the best. So I'm gonna go into one that I found already. You can feel free to use Slam Funk as well, but I'm gonna use this one, check this one out. Double click it, it loads up. It's kind of like this uh, lo-fi distorted beat kind of fun all right so we got this rock beat right now I'm gonna pause it um, let's make another one so remember that four kicks I'm gonna start with that but then now I'm gonna fill up all of the hi-hats and you're gonna hear the 16th note run and this is a good place to start because now you can start taking things out I'm gonna randomly take out like five of them and notice it changes the beat a lot the next thing um, once you're satisfied with the hi-hat all right i'm satisfied with that i'm going to bring this tempo down now I like to work at about 90 in the beginning, and then if you want to bump it up to like dance music later, you can do that. Watch what happens. It's going to chill the pattern out. A lot of hip-hop is 90, BPM 90. If you want to go 120 for dance music, feel free to do that. But today, let's work at 90. All right, so we have that slam funk. Next thing I'm going to do is move around a little bit of the kicks. So. Notice I'm keeping the snare on the one, two, three, four. Let me add. That's a little too much. There you go. All right, so take some time, get your first beat down. Pause the video now. All right, welcome back. So. The next step we're going to do is copy this because what I'm going to do is make a second one. So copy, you can do your control C, uh, but select it first, right? So I'm clicking on this and copy.
copying, move your playhead over and hit paste, which is control V or command V on a Mac. All right, now, notice how it's kind of locked in here. You have to hit instrument for your looper to show up your cycle region. So to see the whole cycle region, you have to zoom out on your trackpad. Uh, the only way to zoom out, it looks like on this program so far, is just using your squeeze and pinch on the actual trackpad of your computer. So now I can hear two, um, two bars. It's now eight beats, right? The second one I'm going to change just a little bit. I'm going to add something at the end that makes it sound like it's uh, finishing. And then I might add a little something else too. So just putting a little drum fill at the end. Just that little change. Um, I might take that one out. No, I'll put that one back in. All right, so that's back in. All right, put a little change on the second one, but keep it similar. And then what you're going to do is join these two. So just like in GarageBand, um, you have this selection box. Go ahead and now two-finger tap on your trackpad or right-click, and you're going to merge. So it has to be both selected just like in GarageBand and merge tracks. Now you have a loopable uh, two-bar phrase, which is, it changes. It's not just really repetitive because it added a little bit of a difference at the end. So pause the video right now and do that function. Get a 8-beat drum beat. All right, welcome back here. Now, um, we're going to add some loops. So I know a lot of people love using these. So let's go to the music notes. This is where you're going to find all your loops, okay? Um, I'm going to do hip-hop and bass. So I've gone through here already, and I found something that would work. And when I'm looking for something, I look for something that draws me in, like what is Evil Sub, right? And these are going to be uh, online, so it takes a minute for them to load depending on your Wi-Fi connection. I like Evil Sub 1, and I'm going to use Evil Sub 4 for my beat today. All right, I'm going to pause that up. If you double-click it, double-tap, it creates it, and it puts it right over here. And if you click over here again, and if I hit Return, it goes to the beginning. Awesome. But if I play that over and over again, it's going to be re repetitive. So let's go ahead and loop your drum track one extra time. And bring this one out as well. Notice the lag when you do that real time. GarageBand, it doesn't do that. But it's once again, it's online. I'm going to use Evil Sub 4 as my second bass that I'm going to be putting in. So whichever ones you use, make sure it's, now we're four bars long, all right? Evil Sub 4, notice sometimes it takes some time to load. Just give it some time. All right, and remember this is freeware. If I double click this, it'll make a new track. Or if I just drag it up like this, that's what I want to do. Okay. Um, let me delete that again evil sub 4 double click all right now I'm just gonna use the beginning of it let's see what this does here there you go so I'm just gonna take the beginning of that one so feel free to find two base lines that work together and usually if they're in a group like this, they'll kind of um, make a good uh, mashup. So pause the video right now and get four bars of a bass line. All right, coming back in. If I try to merge these, I haven't had success in merging loops. 
So let me know if you figure that out. I might Google that later. Um, because when I want to stair step this out and make an arrangement, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. All right, so the third one, and if you have an extra track here, over here is where you can actually delete tracks. You don't need that one. Yes, I want to delete. Yes, I want to delete you. All right. So for a final one, I'm going to find a high frequency kind of lead. Um, so far, we have a foundation and a rhythm in our in there, and then we have our bass, which is going to be our pad element, that long sustained note, and I'm using a bass to do that and recognize that it's in a low frequency level. So now I'm going to go up and add that high frequency. So for now, I'm going to go guitar, and I'm going to fuse a little bit of rock with it. And what I found right away was this bend. I'm just going to use that. But go ahead and find a high frequency something instrumental. Don't make it drums. Make it an instrument that does something. All right. I'm going to use this and double click on it. And notice that it's four bars. And let's see how this works together. I don't want that. Undo is always up here. I just hit enter and it did another one. Delete you. All right. If you click over here, now you're in the interface of recording. And I could close my loops because I'm done. That's all I need for today. Here's the final sky example. All right. So I'm going to pause this video here for you. Or actually, I can't pause for you. You pause the video and create that four bar phrase. All right, next. We're going to jump into arranging this into stair step. So first one we're going to do is this loop. We're going to make a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. We're going to stop there. We're going to make a full 12 bar phrase, all right? All the way to measure 13. Now, here's the tricky part. I want you to move these as a group. So do your selection box and move these over. OK. Now, if they're both selected, you can copy Control-C or Command-C and paste. That's the fastest way. And it keeps them in the same order. And then this one. Just bring it over, whatever that lead melody is, and drop it there. Awesome. And we're almost done. So to listen to your creation, you just loop it all the way out, cycle it. Or you could turn, even turn it off and just rewind it here and press the space bar to play. Got that nice drum groove. And then your bass whatever bass you choose. There's even auto-tune on this. It's kind of fun. Uh, next class, we're going to use our voice. So if you have earbuds, not just headphones, have earbuds with a microphone on it, uh, you'll be able to record. All right, there you go. Um, pause that video right now and create that arrangement. All right, coming back in, the save feature takes some time, but I want you to first name this uh, before. So what you're going to name it is um, Online Beat 1. And then if you wanted to put your name, you can. But as long as it's Online Beat 1, that's good enough for now and hit enter all right then you save and it saves a project pretty quick but it does not mix it and get it ready for an mp3 real fast so as you're waiting here i want you to think of some ideas for next class i want to see who's a writer um you're going to make a beat 
Um, you can use this beat if you want to focus more on lyrics, or, um, or you can make a beat and also do the lyrics at the same time uh, in this hiatus from school. Um, it can be a really creative time. I know you're getting used to how things are right now, but um, you can also use it to start new things and uh, work on parts of your creative self that you never thought you had. So writing is a great way to express uh, certain feelings, so don't be shy about that. All right, now it's ready. If you download there, it's going to give you a WAV file, which is like, it could be up to 50 megabytes. It's pretty big, even bigger than that. So what we want to do is go over to File and down to Export. So this is our share export, and you're going to be exporting project to MP3, all right? That's how we get our MP3 to turn in on Canvas. So once I do that, watch what happens. Online beat, there it is. And if I show it in my Finder, if you have a Mac or in your, it's gonna be in your drive, I could play it. There's that MP3. And they mix it for you. There's no mixing functions, there's no EQ. Um, they master it for you online as it was mixing. So, however it is, it's, that's the only limitation. You might need to take all of these and put it into GarageBand if you want to make make it sound uh, different, or take each track and mix each track separately. But there's there it is. So now, go ahead and follow that MP3 upload process, just like you've done in class multiple times. Uh, record, upload media, upload audio file, and you're done for the day. All right, this is Sky signing off. Hopefully you enjoyed your first lesson. Back to OBS craziness. All right, see you all later. Bye.